we got all the photographs done and then we could get down to actually being serious about it okay. rather than just being a circus. First of all, I declare open this afternoon's proceedings of the print media inquiry and uh, I welcome Mr Kerry Packer, the Chairman of Australian Consolidated Press. Mr Packer, could you please state your full name and the capacity in which you appear this afternoon, please? Kerry Francis Bullmore Packer. I, re I appear here this afternoon reluctantly. <laughs> if you exercise the rights for the preemptive purchase of the junk bond holders, mm -hmm. What, what effect does that have on the shareholding structure of Turing as we now know it from the information None given to all. us by Mr Kennedy? None at all. Turing will be out of the business by then. But if you think I'm going to be railroaded and sit here and be told that you're going to change the laws and you're going to push me around, I may well buy them. Why is his 15%? 20, 15, doesn't No, 15. Matter. Why is his 15% any different to your 15%? Because he's allowed to sit on the board. Don't you know the difference? Of, of course, there's, there's some difference there. I mean, there. I don't have any contact with the management. I don't have any access to the editors. I don't have any, any method of talking to people. Mr Black, on the other hand, as, as a board member and as deputy chairman, has the capacity to talk to the management. Are you saying that there's no arrangement, formal or informal, between you and Mr Black with, the, exactly with the control of That's exactly what I'm saying. Reference? It's what I've said ad nauseum in that document. You're either going to have to believe me or call me a liar. I am telling you there is no arrangement. And I'm sick of telling people there is no arrangement. No, that in... is the situation. There is no arrangement. There is no agreement. Formal I am not in a position. Informal. What? Of course, formal or informal, implied or anything else. I'm sick of trying to tell you all. I am not going to run John Fairfax's. Given the, given I mean, I, and what's more, I don't want to. Constitutionally, there's got to be an enormous argument that you have no right to inquire into print media at all. Foreign Investment Review Board? 15% and it's automatic. What's next? So you'd legislate so that there'd be 15% and it's automatic, so that there'd be no more than 15% foreign ownership. No, I'm saying to you that it is that, that at this point in time that you don't have to go to the Foreign Investment Review Board if your ownership is under 15%. No, but there are still approval processes which have changed, not by legislation, but by regulation over the course of time, which have varied both the percentage and the extent to which the FIRB provides a judgment, aren't they? No, you've got very clear guidelines very clear guidelines, and this is one of the things which I think has really been enormously hurtful to this whole process. You have guidelines, and you have changed them, you've twisted them around in response to pressure from journalists. Now, you know, there are people out there who want to invest in this country, and they want to invest in it because they think it's a stable, decent country. The performance we have seen and the attempted hijackings in this company, uh, in, in, in this performance, have taken people who I know over there who are saying, why would anyone invest in Australia? The laws get twisted and changed. The whole structure gets moved round, depending on whether they like the colour of your eyes or not. Now, if we were a little bit more worried about jobs out there and getting people to invest money into this country and, 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 and getting some businesses going, instead of trying to stop people, Hillman Friedman represent a group of people in America who are committed to Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim investment. And the clients that they have are worth some hundreds of billions of dollars. And they are sitting here saying, nobody could carry on like these people. It's not possible. Now that's the damage you're doing, changing the rules every single day. And I think the people out there whose jobs have been pissed up against the wall don't thank you for it. Are you saying, Mr Packer, that you, you don't think Parliament has the right to inquire into the print media? Yes, I am saying exactly that. And, and so you don't and think that And you're doing it through Parliament... the Australian Broadcasting Control Board and you're not doing it for any other reason. So, so you don't think Parliament has the responsibility... I don't of, think under of, the Constitution of, of... you have the right to do it. Can I finish my question? I'm uh, that the national parliament has the responsibility for, for looking at any aspect of public policy which it judges to be appropriate? You, you seem to be 
completely unaware of the Constitution of Australia, which you, as a politician, have to abide by the same as everybody else. My view is that under the Constitution, you don't have the right. Well, the lawyers... No, it can go... The, the lawyers, lawyers also hold that view almost equally, whether you do or whether you don't. Now, if you really want to, you can go to the High Court and find out. No lawyer who's come before us has, has questioned that, that we have the right to do that. Maybe you haven't asked them the question. Well, perhaps I, I could, just perhaps, back, I'm still before Mr Sinclair does, perhaps I could I'm just point out that the committee has taken evidence from the Attorney's General, Attorney General's Department. I hardly think which they're have, going to be volunteering it. Well, in fact, they've advised us that they consider that the National Parliament does have the power to legislate in certain areas, but that doesn't mean that it's right to do so. No, it doesn't. But what's your view? Do you think we should relax foreign ownership of television networks in Australia? I don't mind what you do. I'd love you to make it open slabber. You made the rules in 1986. I didn't try to sneak around the back door or sneak underneath this. These rules were made in 1986. I read the rules, said, what am I allowed to do? And that's exactly what we've done. Now, why do you want to change the rules again? This is the first... What's happened with this operation going on now is exactly what those rules were put in place for. It's the first time it's been used. It's exactly what they were put in place for. And we have obeyed them absolutely. Why do you want to change the rules again? I mean, since I grew up as a boy, I would imagine that uh, through the parliaments of Australia, from the time I was 18, 19 years of age to now, there must be 10,000 new laws being passed. And I don't really think it's that much better place. And I'd like to make a suggestion to you, which I think would be far more useful. If you want to pass a new law, why don't you only do it when you've repealed an old one? I mean, this idea of just passing legislation, legislation, every time someone blinks is a nonsense. Nobody knows it. Nobody understands it. You've got to be a lawyer. They've got books up to here. Purely and simply to do the things we used to do. And every time you pass a law, you take somebody's privileges away from them. What the Four Corners program suggested was not that you were evading tax at all, that would have been libelous, but that you were minimising tax. There's nothing wrong with minimising tax. I don't know anybody who doesn't minimise their tax. And that you were doing so in, in ways that were, that were contrary to the spirit of the law. Oh. Well, I just got through telling you what I thought about that. And what you're saying is exactly what the Four Corners program says. I am not evading tax in any way, shape or form. Now, of course I am minimising my tax, and if anybody in this country doesn't minimise their tax, they want their heads red. Because as a government, I can tell you, you're not spending it that well that we should be donating extra. <laughs>